Welcome back to my adventures. I'm here in Medellin, Colombia. I'm supposed to meet the biggest influencer here in the city of Medellin, or I could actually argue maybe one of the biggest influencers here in Colombia. His name is Rob Rose, and I will list everything he does, but it's probably easier to say there's not much he doesn't do. He's into fashion, he's into entertainment, he's an actor. Action. He's a music promoter. He's a musician himself. He does so much. He does so much, guys. So, I'm here in his neighborhood. I just crossed security. I don't really know the name of this neighborhood, guys. I don't know where I'm at. They told me La Primera Casa, right there. So, that's where I'm at. So, let's go ahead and see what's up to Rob Rose. So guys, I made it to the crib. I'm here in Rob Rose's house. So he wel welcomed me with this bandana and we're setting up right now. Thanks for having me over your spot, man. No problem. I really appreciate you. What's up, man? I never thought I'd, I'd meet you in person, man. Nah, nah, that's cool, man. You know? We not weird, bro. We real regular. Right, <laughs> weird shit, homie. Man. We country in a month. Man, we regular. It's like Atlanta. It's that Atlanta Sabanetta shit. You know? Ain't no problem. Pull up. Ooh, that's funny. Yeah, so that's a nice content creator light right here. It's going to help us out for sure. All right, that's perfect. Oh man, yeah. how do you want to? How do you want to do it? How do you want to move? It, yeah, no, I think this this is good. But we, I don't know if you allow me to show your crib because I was gonna give him a little quick tour. Fuck. Okay. Let me turn the lights on. Yeah, oh. we're gonna we're gonna start with the little house tour, so we can talk. You know, as we're doing this little tour, and then we're gonna sit down. You know, man, look at this, man. Wow. We don't, you know, we be about us. We don't be about no females. Man. Taking care of us. Taking but, 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 but I got, I got to ask. So this guy, you know, he's connected to the, the biggest and the brightest. But right now, I see no chicas in the house, man. Nah. What's going on with that? No chicas right now. No chicas in the house because we know what we're doing. We always work how we work. And we want that energy. We bring that female energy. That's right. right. Now, That's right. On the synergy. Synergy is with us as brothers, bro. We, Man. We work on some star power shit. Wow. We don't want nothing extra. We don't want shit. Wow. So, Man. Okay. Okay. So. So we we we're gonna start, I guess, on this level here. A few days ago, I was watching. I believe it was Instagram. And uh, you were pretty upset about something. I think people were talking smack of saying it's not your spot or, and you were like, guys, this is all mine. This is me, this is me. You were showing around your house a little bit. Well, it's because a f nigga that I decided to be a partner with that I never knew was a piss drinking ass f ass yeah. nigga. Yeah. Um, named Pete Patico, you feel me? Yeah. I ain't never known a nigga with no lame ass nigga like he was, you feel me? Yeah. And we been doing this shit way before the two little years I known that nigga. So it put me in a space where I was like, damn, like bro wanna just put all this shit out about me, but like I'm never gonna respond to somebody who's devilish like that. Right. We can't be like, what's up, bro? Like right. talk your shit on some real say what it is, let's calculate it. Yes. Let's put the numbers up, let's yes. show the receipts, let's really do what things are. But yeah. if you wanna be indifferent than that and just say random shit, then like yeah, you do affect my energy because my energy is a synergy for us to build with the people that's here for us to develop to something bigger and stronger that I thought we was doing as a collective as brothers. Right. You feel me? Yeah. So, yeah, it threw me off a little bit. But at the end of the day, man, we here. This is star power. Yeah, no, this, this is, is a nice power. Road. How long have you been in this house? Bro, we've been here. We've been here since the, the hero that we needed to be. You wow. feel me? We in this thing. This is a nice, nice house, man. Man, and I love the Bob Marley and Michael Jackson, man. I, I saw your biggest influence is MJ. I'm a big MJ fan as well. I mean, but MJ is only an influence for me because of his work ethic. Yes. And what it's always done for me is be like, yo, I hated my voice. Yes. I, 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 I smoked a lot of cigarettes to get to... Uh, where I developed to be at with delivering in that same voice. Yes. And some niggas like, yo, you, 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 you trying to sound like X. What? Like, bro, I'm not trying to sound like 
nobody. That's just your I, voice. What I'm, what I'm doing is I'm giving you who I actually am when you put me in a situation on a star power beat. Yeah. I'm giving you who I am. So you're criminal. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm giving you what we are. Criminal. And some people may say I might be a convicted criminal for <laughs> my life. <laughs> we just doing music, you feel me? So the, 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 the point is this, man. At the end of the day, we in Medellin. We show love to the people who have an understanding that we're only here for positivity. We're only here for elevation. Yeah. And where there's a connection and a disconnect behind narcissists, yeah. motherfuckers, that nigga that I was partnered with for only one year, that nigga ain't got nothing to do with nothing else that I've ever done. Yeah. Only one year. That shit put me in a position like, wow, this shit really exists. Yeah. I never knew there was demons and devils within us that came here. But with all due respect, isn't that expect expected with your level of success? You never. Know, it, it's, it's never at because, the top, never because you 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 want to keep an open heart at the top though. Yeah. You want you want to be like, bro, like if you want to come in with me and we can do something, let's do something special. Right. Let's do something amazing for the people. Because nigga, you can't do nothing amazing together unless you want some hard shit. Right. And I ain't on no You can't make me a nigga like a bitch. Maybe nigga, what the fuck we talking about? We yeah. gotta do some shit real, right? right? So we're gonna do something special for the people. Yeah. It takes a real investment to do that special thing to make them remember an experience. Yeah. So we gave them Born Americas. Yeah. We gave them Coolio. Yeah. We gave them 28 artists at Rose Festival. We gave them a thing. Yeah. You understand? So like, that shit never had been done. So the lack of support from sponsors and everything, of course, what sponsor would give you bread talking about you about to bring all these legendary artists to their country yeah. and you have no background record of doing that. Right. So people are gonna be like, yeah, I hear you. And when I see you do that, then I'm gonna fuck you. Yeah. And Rose Festival is on God. That's spot. Yeah. That's with us. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Rose Festival is on God. That's with us. Yeah. That's Star Power. That's Rob Rose. That's WRC. You feel me? That's family. Yeah. Anybody who been indifferent from that energy, mm -hmm. yourself because everything that we put up and everything we've done is all toward the most high on the thing that we want the most. What is that? Give these kids who be in the street. Trying to rap with a little box and shit and shit in the fucking cage and all. And I'm trying to get them hope that there is something better and higher than what the fuck they currently going That's for. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. Like, you have to set the example of the bigger thing. Like, a lot of people looked up to Russell Simmons. You yeah. understand? Yeah, Back yeah, in yeah. the day, right? Yeah. Russell Simmons was like the like godfather of like, Nigga, that's hip-hop. That's yeah. Russell. Like, Russell paved that way. Yeah. And now he live in Thailand. But I live in Medellin. You understand? Yeah. And I never would ever equate myself to being on the level of a Russell Simmons. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, in the building and the process of getting to our people and overstanding our people and knowing that no matter if you from Ghana, if you from Nigeria... If you from North America, it don't fucking matter. matter yeah. If you look like me and we all get same, if we would all get pulled over in the same police car that pulled us over, yeah. if we ride it in a Maserati to a Honda and we coming from Mississippi, and you in the car and I'm in the car, Star Power in the car, Julian in the car, Hector in the car, I don't give, they gonna be like, yo, we got some African, some Colombian, all kinds of niggas in this Yeah. And everybody going to jail. Tonight. That's right. <laughs> so the whole the whole point is, is understand that. Overstand that what we doing is for a collective of us to know that we are a part of the same energy. Yeah. We are a part of the same family. family. We are a part of the same everything. Right and on. Where, wherever my energy is, your energy is. And wherever I'm building, you building. Yeah. Whatever I'm saying, 
you have the right to be like, y'all was fucking with that one Rob Rose record when he said this, but the new yeah. that he said, I ain't really fucking with it. Yeah. I open that to be like, why he wasn't fucking with what I was saying? Maybe he ain't understand what the game was when we was playing. Yeah. So the whole like like you gotta you gotta really take all that in and you gotta be like, yo. I want to give everybody everything because I'm only living for my people. I'm yeah, not living yeah. for me. I'm living for everybody else beyond me. You know that's what right. Saying? And that's who he is. All right. Go somewhere else after this. All right. All right. So now, guys, so just so you know, Rob Rose organized a festival here. It's called the Rose Festival. Rose Festival. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's one of the most influential person you would meet here in Medellin. So I was really lucky, you know, to meet with him. So what is what is this? Yeah. So, Robert Thorne III. Robert Thorne III. That's, that's you know, that's his real name. You know, he uh, he's a musician. He's into fashion. He's into music. He's into promotion. Most oh, recently, yeah. this guy is jack of all trade, man. You know, so you can see. You know, this is a musician crib right here. Look at this. All right. All right. Get us for So he's gonna show me some. It's moving real fast. I'm trying to keep up with this guy. Yo, <laughs> yeah, this is a flow rider. Y'all ain't no flow rider. Flow rider, that's a 99% record. We did Atlanta Records. Yeah, right there? Right there. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, so, everybody wanna be on some spiritual shit. These individuals are, it's not everybody, but this is the heart and soul of what we do, Black Ant Congress. Rob, Bert Thorne III, Rob Rose, Maserati, Rob, all that crazy yeah. shit. That has nothing to do with who this guy is. AI put me in a spiritual realm about me and my family. So what I, what I did was I realized that Bro, when you got some brothers that's really with you, like, you need to really dig deep into the essence of those individuals that you call your homies. And you have to use AI in moments like this. This is, this is pretty fun. But when you see, like, like, let's look at the picture for a second. Like, who the f put on these uniforms and hats and vibrations and energies, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's some private shit amongst brothers that I'm just saying like, look into your people, look into your energy, look into the people that you with, that you call your family, bro, that rock with you and like, really rock with them because you know it's bigger than where we at because we was already doing this shit before, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. So that's spiritual right there. So we, right. we, keep it we ain't gotta have all kinds of other, we ain't gotta have you know what I mean? We yeah. got we got our own energies in here that we respect and we, you know. Yeah. So we keep the Buddha. We keep the Buddha because the Buddha, when you look at the Buddha hair, you already know what it is, right? Yeah. And I grew up in Japan, so we keep that energy. Everything that we've ever done is all about energy. But let me tell y'all something. People magazine only normally has celebrities. Alo. That's right. Alo is similar to People Magazine. And what we were able to achieve last year was um, a whole article that was talking about the brand and what we was doing, how we was growing. And it was crazy because it was like, wow, like y'all don't have our people. And I'm gonna be specific and say, brown people. Yeah. You, know, you talking about Mexicans? Nah, cause like if you want to say we black, we don't look like the actual color black. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would say brown because brown has the word own in it. Yeah. And black has the word lack in it, and my people don't lack anything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the thing, the thing was, is get into these spaces where we can be represented properly. Uh, into the culture here in Colombia. Yeah. So this gives us our chance to reset anything that may be a perception or misperception about how, us. How do you think black artists are doing here in Colombia versus 
lighter skinned artists because it seems like reggaeton for example there's only a couple of them a few that you can actually hear on the radio it's not like that they're, they're the only one and i know you don't really deal with reggaeton you're more like hip-hop but still you're in the sphere you're into music i mean so. but if we even going to talk about reggaeton when we talk about our ethnicity and we talk about our people the only person who's like driven their self to continuously work for multiple years is Mackie. Yeah. Mackie been the only one doing it. Yeah. And I'm in a video with Mackie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Mackie's shooting a video at my bar. And yeah. I respect Mackie, but unfortunately, yeah, I got Mackie is not the same as Mackie alone from his partner. Yes. And that's something that we got to look at like, okay, that's a thing, but Let's not dig deep in that because we do things like this. All right. All right. Rob Rose. He ain't yeah. got no bandana on. He ain't yeah. got no. You know yeah. what? You know what? Because you know, he's like a splash between Robert Thorne III and Hammer. Yeah. So when we talk about like Julio, we talk about like Bea. I'm like Bea Magazine. Yeah. Right? Bea Magazine. This is the shit that you see. When you're in Caruja, Exito, you see this too. You see, you see both of these Saint Alo. Look, y'all brothers who watch this video, go to Exito, go to Caruja, and look for Alo magazine, and look for Bea. Bea's a little bit smaller now. They stopped doing these big magazines. But what what we're basically trying to put across to you is we in the building and we have that access to make sure that our story and our point is across on what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. So what we were able to accomplish was this segment here where Coolio was represented before he passed. Yeah. I'm on my way, July 30th, live in concert at City Hall. That's right. I'm gonna give a big shout out to Rob Rose and Pete. And little, little highlights like Etchum. Etchum is one of the Miss Independent. Oh, oh no, 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 yeah. No. That's Etchum, man. That's family. Like, so the main thing is like, it's not always about you. It's about the people that are making the energy and synergy be a thing yeah. for us to elevate collectively. Yeah. And that is the magic. That's the power. Well, how was it working with, uh, with uh, you know, Coolio? Guys, for those of you who don't know, he oh, recently, that's the most... So, 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 what's, 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 the thing about Coolio, let's sit down. Yeah. Let's sit down. You see? All right. The crazy thing about Coolio was, when I was 16 years old, I was in Yokosuka, and I was working for Adam Parker at MWR, and we had a tour that we were bringing in. And the tour so happened to feature Coolio, Eric Badu, The Roots, um, Public Enemy, and everybody was on a collective tour. And I'm still in high school, but I got to be the person to like set up the green room for Coolio and all these different other artists because. I was working for MWR. What does that mean? I was a worker. Like I held the water bottles, the Gatorades, the every, like keep everything, the towels, like, yeah. whatever, whatever they needed. And it was crazy because one of the conversations that me and Coolio had was that I was like, bro, it's crazy to be in my late thirties and I'm bringing you to Medellin because the most high told me to. And I want you to understand the most high told me to because you spoke upon a place that's called Gangsta's Paradise. Yeah. And the only place that is relative to that is Medellin because, man, on Sundays, at a moment in my life, living here, me and Roberto Escobar used to just sit and drink coffee and Lulo. He put me on a Lulo. If you don't know what the Lulo fruit is, get up on it. He put me on to it. And we used to sit and just 
listen to music. Like, he don't speak a lot of English. He play records. Yeah. It's Pablo Escobar brother. Brother, yeah. I met him once. But yeah. a lot of people meet him on like a tour. Yeah. A lot of people like pulling up like every Sunday. Yeah. And doing business and working out business plans. Yes. And going, nah, a lot of us ain't doing that. And I'm not trying to claim to be like that guy. All I'm simply trying to say is that energy and that synergy because when Star Power and Rob Rose first came to Medellin, we went to the burial site of Pablo Escobar. Yeah. And we bought a whole bunch of white roses and we put the white roses on the grave. And I got down and I said a prayer and I asked for permission. I was like, yo, can I grow here? Like, can I build, can I, can I have permission to build something here that is indifferent from everywhere else? And two years after that, I'm with your actual brother who is telling me how I think. I never watched the uh, Netflix Narcos. Narcos. I never, I never seen none of that. I never was fogged by any of that. I literally talked to the source. Now, if you want to say that source is not telling the truth because they're protecting their own interests, that has nothing to do with me. What I'm simply trying to say is the key people that they put in the film, yeah. the key people that characters portrayed, I have been around. My homie Victor. Victor is the first person that taught Pablo how to roll up weed. That is my Spanish teacher. Yeah. Oh. It's crazy how a lot of these people are still around, you know? Man, at the end of the day, what's crazy is how we think time is so short, but it feels so long. Yeah. It feels so long because time is so short. And you feel the yin and yang with that. And one of the main things that puts us in Medellin is overstanding that we are in a better space to be kings. Why is it better here? Well, first off, when I see blue and red lights behind me in the car, I'm not driving. Because when I first came in, I realized this is not a place that I would bring the mozzie to. Mm -hmm. And then Star Power and I was like, yo, can we bring the, the mozzies and the Mercedes? To Medellin, it was like, nah, like, they so strict on, like, the year, like, when you can bring a certain car in, and it got weird, it was like, you know what, we just keep all the cars in Atlanta, we're not going to do that yet, we're just going to put all the energies within ourselves, and the kicks that we rocking when we walking in the street, right? So, the Mozzie was the Zapatos, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. whatever, whatever we rocking and whatever we represent, we're not going to stop that. I heard, <laughs> it was somebody... Somebody made a comment recently. It was like, I can't wait till Rob Rose gets robbed in Medellin. I'm like, nigga, that shit happened like so many years ago. I was going to ask robbed. you if you ever got robbed. Yeah, of course I got robbed in Medellin. Niggas came in the crib. Um, in here? No. Not, he's like, in here? No. no, no. <laughs> I was freaking out like, whoa. Because whoa. Like, yeah. this house, this house is too big, man. Look at this spirit, man. Uh, they come in. Uh, <laughs> so, you know? What, what happened was, we're talking like, we're talking like this beautiful mansion property, $150,000, sitting on five acres. Yeah. And, man, it's modern. It's all white. This thing is amazing. To the point where, like, me and my driver had already built a relationship that was, like, impeccable. Like, this is my brother, and he don't speak English. And my Spanish at this point is mediocre. So, like, we always, every day, we go through our thing, like, trying to communicate and make sure we communicate. But the property has so much value because it has so much fruit. Yeah. And when you could take a watermelon to a pineapple to a maracuja, and you can pay your electric bill. Mm. And you realize that you're sitting on five acres with a waterfall, but what you're not realizing is there's no security. Like, you have your gate, but 
if you don't have your protection outside or down the hill of that gate, then how king of New York are you for real? And why you don't know this shit for real? Because we rap about it, right? We rap about like, yo, we live, we dope, we do this, we got that, we got this. And we got all these people around us, but like, there are moments where you get comfortable, even though the space is so big, certain things would be obvious to you. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta be like, yo, I'm slipping, I'm falling. I, I can't, can't get, get up. up. Come on! Yeah. And if a nigga like, that nigga fake, his jewelry fake, his beard is glued on or painted, his it, I right, nigga, what you doing though for the people? Yeah. Who are you that's hating on me? And if you want to be hating on me, be a real nigga like a rap battle and sit next to me and spit your hate shit toward me, my nigga. Yeah. And let's do this shit for real, but don't do that. Here's the whole thing. Everything here right now is peace. Is Medellin the best place to live? Yes. Is it the best place to invest? Yes. Is it the best place to grow? Yes. How do you do it? Holla at my man. And my man gonna connect you and we gonna connect. But right. I don't do things that's outside of the individual that's trying to introduce me right. to other people right. who need that information because this is still business. Of course. And I still need to get my bag. And when I say I, I mean we. Yeah. From everybody who rock with me and everybody who helped me be in a position I'm in, we all got to eat because if we eating, we growing. If we growing, you gaining more. Of course. And this, that's what keeps it going. There's more and more Americans moving here. Would you say that's good for your business or bad? It's always good, but I just hope those Americans that's moving here understand the culture that we build and not the culture that currently exists. Mm -hmm. Because they can get lost into what they think, but it's not what they know. Because they're only going to places that seem secure for those individuals. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna rock with me going to Central mm -hmm. at 10.30 or 11.30 or 12 at night. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, we going to Barro and Cotiva. Mm -hmm. We going to New York. We going to New York at three in the morning and we gonna be turned up. They be like, where? I'm like, in Central. They're like, I heard in Central it's peligroso, it's dangerous. Yeah. And I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna wear my chain out. And I'm taking <laughs> nothing in. <laughs> this guy is something else. <laughs> I would never feel like I have to be indifferent than the individual that I would be in New York. That I would be in Miami. That I would be in Atlanta. I got my, my Maserati. Man, look, we was, me and my sister Genesee, look up. Uh, Genesee is my sister, right? Yeah. She's an influencer. Me and Genesee was leaving an event that, you know, outcasts with their energy, you know, Stangonia, you know, they do the whole like Mondays event, Coalition DJ Mondays, mm -hmm. right? So we was leaving that event and I, I drove the Mazi. I was in the white uh, uh, Mazi Quattro Porte. I was mm -hmm. in the white Mazi and went up to the gas station. And I was just so arrogant and full of myself, who I was. And nobody ever dared to touch my Yeah. And I was high as hell. And I, I, I walked into the gas station. I'm talking to them and I'm, I'm just doing extra shit that I probably normally just wouldn't do on the speed of time. When I get done with all that, I come outside and my car is gone. Wow. Come to find out, right near Stankonia, has been robbing my at a gas station right up on, uh, I wanna say, what is the name of that street? Stop out. Northside Drive, niggas been getting robbed at the gas station for a minute, but I had never paid attention to it. I got robbed, I got robbed, I got robbed, and guess what? Dad brought me my mat on mat, black on black. But when I'm on, she got that boomerang, you go back and get, I say, <laughs> why don't why? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Maserati, double L. Cause I'm only speaking my experiences even when I do music. I'm only talking about things that I've personally went through, that if somebody did their proper research, they would identify, that he had that Yeah. He really, that really happened. Check with their insurance company, they wanna say, 
That wasn't your Maserati, you rented it. Well, call the insurance company. Get the information and see if that wasn't Robert doing the third's Maserati. See what they do, they hit on Rod Rose. Rod Rose is a character that has been going on because my name is Robert Thorne the third. Yeah. And every rose needs a thorn. And Robert Thorne is that hard body that always been fucking with a bitch who might be up on not Northside Drive, but maybe Old Nat. Nigga. All right, look. Let me tell you something. Man, if it wasn't for Old Nat, I wouldn't be a real nigga that know how to trap when I'm in Medellin when it coming to these bitches, bro. Like, I'm a nigga that, like, pull up on Old Nat, and I'm in a mozzie, and, and I make that left, right? Yeah. And everybody know, like, we're going over the bridge, right? And this little gas is right there on the little, little hotel, right? On the, and nigga know, like, yeah. nigga, nigga know the area. It's like, it's, it's all in front of you, right? Yeah. But, like, you got to identify, like, what's a hoe and not a hoe? But are you there to, like, put your energy across to this female for sex only? Or are you there because... You got something better that she could experience, and if she fuck with you, she could elevate to a whole nother thing. Yeah. Man, look, when you keep that energy and you get into your bag, and when Diddy like get into your bag, it ain't always gotta just be about the bread. Get into you, get into your spirit, get into who you are. Get into your bag, right? So when you in your bag, you like, yo. I can have everything and anything, but I'm nothing without my team. Yeah. Without the brothers who represent who I am because I've represented over this time and journey who they are. This is the collectiveness of being about everybody. Yo, we should be brothers. I'm not trying to be brothers with no lame ass, motherfucking flexing ass who want to drink their own piss and beat their bitch and can't cook. Yeah. Word to Pete. I, my whole thing is like, I want to be amongst people that just know who they are and can maintain who they are without me. Yeah. But with me, they are more powerful. Yeah. They are more who they are. Yeah. They gain more. They want to invest more. They feel it more. Like we got them do doing the butt up. Uh, when you got the bitch that's doing the butt, we sexist. Ain't nothing wrong. When you can listen to Cameo, Cause I used to rock with them niggas. Yeah. And I'm like, I can excuse the fact that Larry Blackman was wearing a red cup, with, which might be awkward right now if you did it. But then it was cool because he was being indifferent. But these are the OGs were the Freedom Williams. These are the OGs that I've been around when people, everybody dance now. I've only been in a position where I have to say thank you most high that I've met individuals that have hit sparks. How the fuck you miss a whole hundred yeah. shots? Yeah. That have flamed around the world musically and spiritually. Percocet, yeah. Miley Percocet. Yeah. I've been in their houses and I've sat with them and had meetings and conversations and did business. Yeah. Fuck a fuck up! So what I'm saying is, hip hop is the culture. Reggaeton, dance hall, rap music, gangster rap, all these things are paradigms that are below the culture. What Colombia, Dominican Republic, uh, there's a multi there's a multitude of spaces that can give you a energy, not just medicine, that can give you an energy of freedom. But if you think you free. You dumb, da da dum 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 Because we got to still be about self-awareness, spiritual awareness of self, validations. Mm -hmm. But Medellin? Nothing like it, huh? No. Tell me what's better. There's nothing better. Some people will argue Brazil. Hey, real talk, i never been. Yeah. But i seen, it's like a city of God. Yeah. And I watch the joint, and what I don't do is get so like, 
wrapped up into what a movie present because I like to be on the ground. And of course. Things myself. And that's where a lot of us is like, yeah, yeah. I've seen the video. I heard that <laughs> talking. I heard that <laughs> Rob Rose talking with his painted ass beard, looking goofy, like a clown. Yeah, but then the clown opened like eight businesses after being like a convicted felon from North Carolina yeah. that grew up in Japan, did all this other sh and is still doing what he's doing. So hate on him as much as you can. But he's still making things happen. But like verse him and what you doing in the same country that you want to be in. That's right. How's your bar going, by the way? Oh, man, we let we going at the night. What's the name of your bar for vibes, those? Man, we are, yeah. man, vibe has always been a vibe. And if you're not with the vibe, you're not vibing. So you're going to probably get escorted out of vibes because <laughs> you ain't spending that vibe. Money, yeah, me? yeah. It's not happening with you. I'm going to tell you who Rob Rose is. Yeah. This. And this talk shit. And this do the whole rhyme and flow the whole motherfucking time, bro. And if you don't have that energy, if you don't have the spirit and your ancestors and your mama and your grandmama, nigga, if you don't have the things within you to be who you really are, you cannot spit at that table. But if you want the vibe, if you want the essence, if you want the experience of Medellin, you gotta come home and you gotta be about you. And you gotta know how to move in the street. You gotta know how to move with these females. You gotta know how to move with these bitches. So they, they, they've been these drugging, these what's up? They've been drugging a lot. Well, you get drugged, so why the f would you let a bitch Make your drink in the first place. It keeps happening though. Because you a lame ass nigga that's letting that shit keep happening. Yeah. Nigga, let me tell you something. I ain't never been drugged by no and I'm checking that at the door, homie. Like, there is no space and no spot where a female can have that much energy over me where she powered me to say to me, baby, it's 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 as Tuja. How do you know what I like and how do you know the mix that I like and what I like? And if I ain't mixed it and if I ain't taught you how to mix what I like, then obviously I don't even know you like that. So why are you making my drink? Yeah. See, motherfuckers get lazy. They like, oh, they'll do anything. I have all the money. Nah, homie, it, it, it never switch up. They so quick to be like, you should just go to Thailand with all the lady boys. Well, I don't want to be in an environment that's predominantly ran by the T's. What I do want to do is be in a space where I know how I control, spero momento, scriba mi porfa. I can be in a space where I know how to control my overall energy and the energies around me. Yeah. Yes, it is a scenario where there's a repetition of robberies. Yes. And people getting drugged. Yes. And people dying and people like, what the fuck? Bro. Right. Y'all promoting all this goody shit, but y'all not telling us the other shit about exactly. Medellin. Yes. It's like y'all hiding something. Like y'all like, no, we ain't hiding nothing. Y'all forgetting who you are and what you be on. It's better for you to live in a space that's very secure. Better for you to hire security that's better that's very secure. If you know, then when you get on the spirits, you allow so many spirits to enter your spirit that can offset you to know how to move and you have to take responsibility of self. Don't blame that on a whole country. Don't try to make it like we flaw. Man, we doing everything every day to better everything here. Even the police working with us. Everybody wants better for the experience that you can have here living in Colombia, Medellin. But if you're not working on yourself, on how you move when you intoxicated, everybody, I want to be on the coat. That's cool, man. You want to be on the coat? Be on the coat. But you should know how you should behave and who you need around you if you know you cannot control your own behavior mm -hmm. when you're participating into a substance. You need to be accountable for you. Yeah, Don't yeah. put this off on the whole country. Right. That's muy peligroso and muy grosero. Nosotros no te gusta eso. Right. Con el negro, negro extranjero paisa. <laughs> <laughs>
Japanese <laughs> motherfuckers Vida aqui in Colombia, you feel me? All right. That all right. type shit. All right. And not to go all over the place, but I, 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 this is the question I really wanted to ask you. For those of you who don't know, Julio passed shortly after his time here in Medellin, Colombia. But Grammy-winning rapper Coolio passing away unexpectedly at age 59. The Grammy award-winning U.S. rapper Coolio has died in Los Angeles. How was it for you, man? Because it was a very quick turnaround. So what I, what I was saying a little bit earlier in the interview, I was talking about like the moments that I had with Coolio and the fact that like I did the green room and all those things when I lived in Yokosuka, Japan. And um, when we were backstage, I was talking to OG Cuz and I was like, yo, I just want you to know like, it was like three years in the making to get you here because there was no contact on Cool. Like yeah. We, it took people that I knew on Facebook to tell Steve, chill Capo, what's up Capo, that in Nevada, Capo in Nevada, he like, Rob, I grew up in Yokosuka a little bit, and I'm in a vibe that you was the guy in Yokosuka. I'm like, I've always been that guy in Yokosuka, and I will always stand in that word mm -hmm. on the streets, because that's where I grew up. But I realized that after I left, people like him work with Mo from Positive Productions and all the in group. Capo helped me connect to get Coolio. Come along and ride on a fantastic boat. <laughs> it's too hot. It's too hot. This is the first mother to make the HIV awareness in hip hop. Coolio is and will always be a great iconic individual that I'm so grateful. I had a moment to tell my people, let's listen to this energy and bring him to Medellin. It took three years, we got him here. The show is phenomenal. Yeah. To a point of where we had almost 3,000 Colombians paying to be in a space that was very expensive, but very protective. And when the DJ were to be nice, hey man, you did this thing, DJ nice, I'll, I'll fuck with you, but he played reggaeton. And you you had all these people boo and throw shit. Like, we came here for hip hop culture. We came here for rap music. And they did not speak English. Yeah. And you would think that in Medellin, it's just like this predominant reggaeton thing and that right. is not true so what it was like it was it was serving in the army of the Lord it was serving knowing that like no matter what happened to make it happen and what happened after whether we made money or lost money we did our job as a collective of brothers and we fought for that experience and there will never be another Coolio show because he went to the next level of life. And that's what makes it so special. Mm -hmm. It was crazy because it was so spiritual because Yeah. It was a quick turnaround. Very quick turnaround. <laughs> Man, it was like two months. Yeah. And it was crazy because it was so unexpected. And when we got the course, my mama would call me multiple times, but I lost multiple family members because when you used to like living outside of your predominant family, that phone ring and somebody hits you with a certain tonality in their voice. You're you like, just know. Somebody just died. Right. Or something just happened. And you have that choice at that moment to like go toward that energy and support the funeral or the wake, whatever. 
Or you got to be like, I got a lot going on where I'm at and what I'm doing. And I love them so much, but I can't afford, not necessarily financially, your time, your employees, what you're doing, where you're going. You can't afford to leave that and then trust that with whomever so you can go and be in a space and just be in a moment. When you can be in a moment with that person if you really f with them and they really f with you. Yeah. So it's like, never perpetrate on your family. If they loved you and you loved them, it's real. But if y'all ain't have a relationship like that, you flex it. My sister, I'm in a situation right now, like, I don't know if my sister killed herself and all her kids, or if she was murdered by her ex-husband or the gang that he affiliated with. I don't. And I'm dealing with that. And I'm still up because I don't know. And this person is like, you know when you're growing up and like you have like your favorite person, whether that be your sister, your cousin, whatever, your favorite person, like y'all connect so deep. That is my person. Yeah. That is my love. And she gone, right? So going through these things and other things that other family members of mine have went through and that are going through, it's just the build and the betterment itself but overstanding one thing. Whatever those people live for and whatever they've been about, you gotta represent that regardless of what percent feel. hundred percent. How much it hurt, whatever you're going through, you gotta keep pushing through that shit. Yeah. When uh, Star Power and I came to Medellin, Colombia in 2018, I remember when we landed, it was this breath of fresh air that was so indifferent than anywhere else. Yeah. And then when you leave in the airport and you go down, like you about to go into like Medellin, like you gonna see like the whole mountain, like fucking crazy flip. What's the name of that movie? In 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 this Galia Leonardo DiCaprio. What the yeah. is it called? Inception. Inception. Yeah. That flip off, like that shit gives you a crazy vibe. When you get into the city, man. When, when Star Power and I first came in, man, the streets was full. They were so full. It was so New York. It was so Leicester Square, London. It was so wow. It was. Hey, is you ready for it? You ready? We ready? We ready for this? <laughs> this is because it's a free for all, and nothing mattered. Yeah. If you if you knew what it was to know, then you know about it. That's right. If you don't, you don't. All right. You better learn that. Shit. <laughs> figure that shit out. That's funny. Your ass might get fucked up. <laughs> I want to uh, conclude this part of this interview with uh, the song you just released, uh, Criminal. What inspired that? It's so that, crazy that we that call it Criminal. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like that. What's um, the deal with that song? What is it about? Criminal Criminal is that freedom that, that gives you a chance to really be the internal you that you feel with, within your bloodline, that's a part of your ancestry, and it's a release to not only say her energy is criminal, the vibration I'm feeling right now while I'm in this space is criminal. Mm -hmm. The way she moved, the way the choreographed or non-choreographed dance steps create this criminal. Yeah. Criminal is not in a negative conversation. It's not, we're not, we're not coming from what people put it across to be the same as Rose Gang. Criminal is a record that we did with Michael Rhythm. Yeah. That is something positive for Latin dance all created by Star Power, Dame Beats. And we have more energies that come across in that way. Mm -hmm. So when you when you check out the vibe, um, criminal is something indifferent. We utilize that um uh, uh, utilize that uh uh, 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 you like, no, let it go, no, 
time. We utilize that shine part. We utilize like an element of that Jamaican feel because we always had a, and we always will, go back to the essence of who we are when we come to the drum. Yeah. And Star Power did that drum so great that you know, it was it was good. Everything that Rob Rose doing is fusion music. Mm. It's fusion music. Yeah. It's it's grabbing. I might be doing something with somebody who speaks Spanish one day, yeah. and somebody who speaks Japanese another. It just yeah. depends or Indian. You just mix it together. It just we got we got to do things that are collective, right? With the collective energy mm -hmm. that brings us into a space where we can end any racist perception on an individual based upon their cultural actions yeah. or what they may wear that is a part of their culture. We have to leave every element and aspect of that ignorance. Where yeah. Snoop Dogg get on a track with somebody who paid a tab to make it make sense and he gonna do it. Rob Rose the same way. Word the star power. We gonna get them fillings and instrumentations. Word the mm -hmm. dame beats for his skills and what he do. Being here is Colombian, Canadian, everything else. <laughs> So, in short, with Rob Rose, I don't flex. I love for people to always bring who they are and their experiences mm -hmm. to the table. But we have to be honest with each other. We got to talk about things with each other. We can't sugarcoat the energy. We have to keep the energy real. And we grow from those elements and those aspects. And that's what it is. All right. All right. So we talked a lot about uh, the great things. And I don't want to end it on the negative. But to balance the interview out a little bit, what is one thing Rob Rose does not like about Colombia? It can't be all roses out here, right? There has to be some some thorns, right? <laughs> some things you don't like. I love how you I love how you said that. <laughs> so normally I do interviews with like my beard done and we cut up and we looking yeah. good and I got shades on. No, this is this is the, I, the I, raw I'm, I'm raw bros. I'm giving you this is a raw raw bros in the Star Power factory, homie. You are in the Star Power mansion right now. Yeah. We we are amongst the stars, you understand? I love this, this house. Man. Yeah. Great. So here so here's the thing, brother. Um, no, it's not all good. It's not all good because we run across some of the same things with the females that we run across in our house. Yeah. And I will always stand by what I've always felt from the beginning of my growth as a growing man. Mm -hmm. Japan had always had the better women. Japanese women was always the better women. They had no... My mama gonna be like, if you say ass or bitch, or <laughs> one more goddamn time in this interview. So, like, like they they did not have the bodies that maybe we wanted, but they had the energy, they had the intellect, they had the uh, spiritual uh, connecting elements to them. Speaking on Japanese women, I will always say Japanese women in my life were always ranked number one and number two coming behind them would have been Arab women number three coming behind them would have been sisters number four would have been Latin American women mm -hmm. Latin American women have so much insecurity built in them that it puts you in a space where you're like, damn, you got everything. I want to give you everything. But they hear you, but they don't feel you because they get in their nose done. They get in their bottom done. I'm saying bottom because my mama watches, so I ain't going to say ass. <laughs> but I can say ass. Like, they, get, they get in their breast and they're doing all these different things because they have this super overwhelming insecurity. Yeah. But when it comes to the government, I love it. Yeah. Because I have a baby, have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire. Yeah. We ain't gonna talk about the millions, but what we will talk about is the equality within having that baby. That we don't have to deal with the same non equalities because you weren't married when you, like, I don't know, living in like Atlanta, Georgia, as an example, and the woman has all the rights. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm a better parent. 
here we have a better stance on that. But the main thing is don't come here if you're not truly in tune with where the Cat Williams, your star player, bro. Don't do that to the culture. Don't yeah. do that to yourself. Know you and be you. And when you hear with these women, know you and be you. Hey, certain people be like, it's all about expenses. When you can identify expenses, you know the road or where we going. Yeah. Other people be like, I'll pay whatever and I'll do whatever. Cause you've never <laughs> had anybody that gives you that attention yeah. that you need. And that means you are bruised and you have so many things that you need to check in to your local psychiatrist <laughs> or whoever about to really like, identify like your flaws in you. Brother, this is about motivation, growth within yourself, which means that you take responsibility of your actions, mm -hmm. of your past, and of your present. There's a validation within your experience. Mm -hmm. And as you're walking through that, I would suggest anybody who ain't never lived in Atlanta, go live in Atlanta for like two years. Before coming to Medellin, Colombia? Don't come to Medellin if you didn't do Atlanta. If you never lived in Atlanta for two years, if you never been in Miami, for real, for real, like that. And when I say for real, I mean like, put the bag up a bank. Don't just, yo, I was in Miami, I rented a car, I was lit, look at me, hey homie, you see, I'm, no, 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 afford that car. It's better if it's your car. Or don't think to have a car, Uber, okay, upscale. Yeah. The main thing is, be you. Don't not be who you really are. Yeah. As you are elevating, trying to get to the source energy that you want, because mm -hmm. you will realize source energy don't come from a woman. Mm -hmm. Source energy come from the most high and within yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you realize, like, if you can't accept any form of elevation, whether that's you elevating or your brother, how I many you lost? And you need time to develop yourself. You might need to sit in that room. You might need to get locked up one time. <laughs> you feel me? County or wherever, I don't know. But the, the point is, as you build and grow and understand you, you'll be able to build and grow and understand where we at. Thanks for you know, allowing me to come to your beautiful spot over here. You know? I never seen a kitchen island like this in person, man. That's Never. That's star power. Man. That's star power. Man. You ain't got no star power, you ain't got no star power. That's right. Like, that's like, think, hold on, hold on. Think about what I'm saying. If you ain't got no star power, you ain't got no star power. <laughs> we don't accept things that may be mediocre to the energy that we already know that we have within us. We only go with the things that make sense to our energy, and that's what we pay for. Nice. So on that note, I will drop his uh, links below. He has... So many links. I'm gonna pick a few and drop them there. But that's Rob Rose and uh, his cousin over here. You from that's my brother. That's your brother? That's my brother. And you from uh, where in states? Originally from Detroit, Michigan. Detroit. We got residency in Atlanta, Dallas, Medellin. All right. It's worldwide, man. I see your smile, man. I don't think you're going back to the Matrix anytime soon, right? I am sober off of the matrix. <laughs> Thanks to my healer. I know you said you didn't do the work and it was the most high. I am free and a mess. All right, all right, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for what's next. Thank you again for Rob Bro. All right. Shout out to you. All right. Later. Kindly subscribe, press that like button. See you guys on the next one. Next time on Adventures. That's what y'all need to be fucked up. Come on. Holding hand with a you I fucked her last week. For brothers and people who got an African thing going on from a descendant perspective. So when you get here, them shits is not going to fit. It's not. These ain't cheeses with the mother tiger on it. It's some white on the skateboard that look like he's skateboarding off a cheeto. <laughs> Turn this shit. She goes to the side, get up, get up. The rose getting already in the They don't even know who the f Jeezy RTI is, but they know Rob Rose, motherfucker. <laughs>